At ito po, uh, gusto ko rin i-present dahil uh, isa po sa mga commitments ni President Duterte is the decongestion of EDSA. So I'm sure many of you are curious kung ano pong status ng decongestion program ni President Duterte and what we can expect in the next few years. The value of the projects that will be implemented to decongest EDSA is 384 billion pesos. And uh, ito po yung mga projects uh, uh, nakaline up para sa EDSA decongestion. You can see in the map, ito, ito po yung blue, ito po yung EDSA. Ito po yung mga red. These are the projects that are the bypass roads. Of course, it's at this point, hindi na natin kayang i-widen. It's not cost efficient. So, ang ginagawa natin ngayon is gumagawa na, tayo, gumagawa na kami ng mga bypass roads. And that, yun po ang strategy ni President Duterte. Gumagawa na siya ng mga skyways, mga bypass roads. So, I'd like to individually ipapakita ko po kung ano po yung mga status ng ating mga roads. Ito po yung napaka-importante, yung skyway stage 3. This is a connect, it's a 18.3 kilometer, uh, 18.3 kilometer viaduct connecting NLEX to SLEX. So makikita nyo po yung ongoing construction. Uh, pag natapos po itong Skyway Stage 3, ang tra yung travel time from Makati to Balintawak, ngayon po, siguro kung uh, gagamitin yung EDSA, it will reach uh, almost maybe one and a half to two hours. Pag natapos po itong Skyway, the travel time from Makati to Balintawak will be reduced to 15 to 20 minutes. What is, ano pong, what is the status of this at this point? Uh, almost 76%, but at this point, maybe approaching 80% na yung construction. We're targeting to open this by April. So by April of this year, uh, 100,000 cars will be relieved from EDSA. EDSA today, the capacity of EDSA is 280,000. Ang... Um, uh, the, the volume of traffic today is 400,000. Para ibalik natin sa dati, kailangan, kailangan natin i-reduce yung traffic by 120,000 cars. With this single project alone, ang expectation namin is almost 100,000 cars a day ang mawawala po sa EDSA. So with these projects, we can expect uh, there will be significant improvement by the second quarter of this year. So as early as this year, uh, malaki pong magiging improvement sa EDSA. NLEX Harbor Link, hindi lang po yung uh, Skyway, meron pa tayong NLEX Harbor Link na makakabawa sa traffic sa EDSA. This Harbor Link, we already completed the first phase. Ang ginagawa po namin ngayon is the, is the connection to R10. Yung R10, diretso na po yan sa port. So pag natapos po itong Harbor Link, lahat po ng trucks na galing sa port ay aakyat na lang sa R10 at diretso na sa NLEX. Uh, expected, foot traffic, uh, expected vehicular traffic sa NLEX, Harbor Link, is 30,000. In our first phase, we have 5,000 cars a day dahil hindi pa kumpleto yung alignment. Pag nakumpleto po yung alignment, we expect 30,000 vehicles a day. Karamihan po trucks ang dadaan po sa NLEX Harbor Link. So, the Skyway, 100,000 cars a day. Ito po, 30,000 cars a day. Pero isipin nyo na lang po, trucks ang dadaan, trucks, napakalaki ng mga trucks. So isang truck, equivalent siguro ng limang, apat, limang kotse. So malaking bagay po itong Harbor Link. And what is the status as of today? We will open the first ramp by February and we'll open the whole alignment, including exit ramp, by March of this year. So sunod-sunod pa yung openings natin, starting February, March, April, Harbor Link, Skyway. So in the first half of this year, we will reduce... Uh, traffic in EDSA by 20 to 30 percent. At hindi lang po, <laughs> i -re report ko rin yung R10. Dahil uh, nung pumasok po kami, uh, meron maraming nag-encroach sa R10, yung highway. Six lane, this is a 12-lane highway uh, in the port. So, early in this administration, we were able to uh, widen the highway. Kung makikita nyo po ngayon, dati marami po nag-encroach sa highway. So, naging yung 12 lanes, naging, ano na lang, naging six, uh, 7 lanes na lang, 7 or 8 lanes. So, we are able to clear it and this is a completed project. So, early in this administration, we completed that. Ang ngayon po, ang next, uh, NLEX SLEX connector. Iba po to, hindi ito yung skyway. Iba, iba po yung connector. Makikita nyo po yung alignment. Ito po, co-connect sa uh, co-connect siya sa Harbor Link, going through Manila sa train station. So, pagdating nyo sa, gagamitin yung Skyway, 
magkakaroon ng exit sa Makati area, and then lalabas siya papuntang Manila, and eventually kukonect na siya sa uh, Harbor Link. So, ano po ang purpose nito? Pag natapos po itong connector, lahat po ng trucks na galing sa port, lahat po ng vehicles galing sa Manila, hindi na kailangan dumaan sa EDSA, hindi na kailangan uh, dumaan sa ibang uh, kalye. They will just go straight to the connector, going to SLEX or NLEX. So, lahat po ng trucks halos mawawala sa, sa Metro Manila streets dahil gagamitin na lang nila yung NLEX and SLEX connector. And this will be delivered in 2021. Ito po, kasama din po yung uh, Harbor Link, uh, segment 8.2. Bagong uh, new segment of 8.2. It's a 8-kilometer expressway from Mindanao Avenue to Republic Avenue. And uh, ang purpose ito, pag natapos po ito, yung travel time between Mindanao to Commonwealth will be reduced from 45 minutes to 10 minutes. So this will complete the Harbor Link. So yung Harbor Link ngayon hanggang Valenzuela uh, and then uh, hanggang Quezon City, hanggang Mindanao Avenue, itutuloy po namin yung Harbor Link. So additional 8.35 kilometers. And then another local project, yung Mindanao Avenue extension, 3.2 kilometers. Uh, uh, we'll continue the Mindanao extension until uh, sa Kaibiga Road. Nun, maraming mga uh, pabrika doon sa Kaibiga Road. So, itutuloy po namin yung Mindanao Extension. And we can expect delivery of this project within this year. It's already 68% complete. Meron din tayong mga medium-sized projects. Itong Summer Street, natapos na po. Uh, ito, bypass din sa EDSA. So, pinawiden namin, 1.1 kilometer para lumuwag po ang EDSA sa area na yan. So, ito po isang example ng uh, local project na makatulong sa decongestion ng EDSA. And of course, C6, uh, ongoing na po. Eventually, yung Skyway, makakaroon na ng down ramp connecting to C5. But at the same time, makakaroon ng viaduct C6, dadaan sa uh, Tanay, and then eventually, bababa siya sa, uh, of course, in, uh, sa Quezon City. Makikita nyo po yung alignment. Ito po yung C6. And this will also serve to, um, ang baba niya, batasan. So, this will serve to decongest, give an alternative route to C5 and also EDSA. So, mga kabawas din to sa EDSA. This is an ongoing project. Also, i-deliver po namin sa term ni President, to, uh, C6 Expressway. Ito, natapos na po itong Laguna Lake Highway. This is a 6.9 kilometers from Bikutan to uh, Rizal to Taytay. Kung dati po isang oras po ang biyahe, ngayon 30 minutes. At napakaganda po ng Laguna Lake Highway. Dito, ito po yung first highway na may independent bike lane. So dito, makikita nyo po yung bike lane. This is already in use. It's already been, it was completed uh, early in the term of the President. Started and completed sa term ni President Duterte. Laguna Lake Highway. South Link Project, ito makakabawas din. Makakabawas din sa EDSA dahil ito pong i-coconnect niya yung C5 sa Cavitex. So yung mga galing sa Cavite, galing sa South, hindi na kailangan duman sa EDSA. Dediretso na sila sa C5 using the C5 South Link. Again, to be delivered in 2022. Already ongoing, natapos na po namin yung tawid. So actually, may portion ng C South Link na nagagamit na. So from the South, yung pwede, from Paranaque, pwede nang tumawid papuntang C5 utilizing the, the, the con newly constructed bridge. So may portions that are usable already for the South Link. And of course, na EAX Phase 2. We will be expanding na EAX also. Uh, makakaroon din ng down ramp sa Lawton Avenue. Kaya may widening din kami ng Lawton Avenue papuntang BGC uh, para ma-accommodate po yung down ramp from na EAX. So we'll be expanding the connections of na EAX. So it will improve also the, uh, the options ng ating mga uh, motorista. So, yun ang road pro Hindi lang po road projects po. Ay, uh, hindi lang po road projects ang uh, EDSA decongestion. Meron din po kami mga bridge projects. So, I'd like to present some of the big pro bridge projects that will also decongest uh, EDSA. So, unang-una po, yung Bonifacio Global City Ortigas Center Bridge. Uh, this is the bridge going from BGC going to Ortigas. Uh, at this point, we're at... Uh, 44%. Ito makikita, tumatawid na po yung bridge. So, we're already halfway. Ginagawa na yung kabilang side. We're hoping to finish this by uh, hopefully end of 20, early 2022. 
So as early as next year, uh, we hope to the first quarter of next year, we will deliver this uh, bridge project. Pag natapos po ito, uh, almost at least 30,000 cars ang mawawala sa EDSA. Guadalupe in particular. Dahil lahat ng napaka-congested ng Guadalupe Bridge, pag natapos po itong uh, BGC link, uh, ang, ang expected vehicular traffic is almost 30,000 per day. Next is the Binondo Intramuros Bridge. Also, makakatulong din po ito sa decongestion, which is ongoing now at 27% uh, construction. Ito po yung picture ng ongoing construction. And then that's the rendering of the event. Iconic. Lahat po ng bridges sa Metro Manila ay iconic. Napakaganda ng design. And uh, definitely, it's of the highest level of quality. Lahat po ng bridges na gagawin po namin sa Metro Manila. Of course, ongoing na rin yung Australia Pantalyon. In fact, they're already fabricating portions of the bridge. So, isasalpak na lang po sa... Uh, substructure, sa substructure. So, makikita nyo na po, ongoing na at this point, we're at almost 50% construction. So, we can expect that uh, either uh, by the first quarter of next year, deliver na rin yung Estrella Pantayon. And it, this will be a big, uh, also, uh, will create more, uh, uh, it will help to decongest EDSA. Ito po yung ibang bridges uh, naka-line up sa Metro Manila, yung North-South Harbor Bridge. The Palanca Villegas Bridge, the East West uh, East Bank West Bank Bridge, also scheduled to be started by this year. So, yung tatlong bridges na binanggit ko kanina, we expect to deliver it by next year. Yung iba will be starting full force construction this year. Kasama rin po yung Marikina Vista Real Bridge, J. P. Rizal Lopez Haina Bridge, and J. P. Rizal Saint Mary Bridge. So, ito po, these bridges are deliverables in uh, Metro Manila as part of the decongestion program. Of EDSA. So, sa EDSA decongestion, what can, ano, what can we expect sa EDSA decongestion? By this year, by the second half of this year, we will relieve EDSA of 20 to 30 percent. And malaki po ang improvements EDSA and for the first year starting this year and in subsequent years, uh, we will see continued improvement along EDSA as per committed by our president. Isa po sa mga commitments ni Pangulo, ang decongestion ng EDSA. And I can say, at this point in this administration, we will deliver on the promise to bring back EDSA to its original capacity. So, at what I presented are the projects that we uh, included in our master plan. The President conceptualized this master plan early in this administration. And ngayon po, mararamdaman na po natin ang EDSA decongestion program ng ating Pangulo. Okay, thank you, Secretary Villar. Question, Pia Gutierrez. Hi, sir. Good morning. Sir, when you said that uh, by the second half of this year, uh, the government will be able to relieve ed EDSA by 20 to 30 percent of vehicles, anong, what, um, that's with the completion of what projects? The Skyway, the first Skyway Stage 3 will be, uh, we will deliver this by uh, April, uh, April or May. Uh, by the second quarter, uh, say second quarter this year, we'll deliver the Skyway Stage 3. And this will be able to relieve 100,000. Ito pa lang sa Skyway Stage 3. And, and by March of this year, we will deliver the Harbor Link extension connecting to the port. And this will be able to relieve EDSA of almost 30,000 cars a day, unexpected vehicular traffic. But sa Harbor Link, dapat inote din natin, 30,000 na yan, karamihan po mga trucks. So, Napakalaking bagay sa decongestion ng Metro Manila. So these two projects alone will be delivered in the first quarter of this year. By next year, we'll be able to deliver the bridge projects, yung BGC by the first quarter, yung BGC Bridge, Estrella Pantalyon Bridge, Binondo Intramuros, and then yung ibang projects po, yung C6, that's a continuous, uh, implement we're continuously implementing it, yung NAEX extension, the South Link. So in total... Uh, starting this year, we'll see every year makakaroon po ng improvement sa EDSA, drastic improvement. So as early as the second half this year, uh, mababawasan na po ang traffic ng EDSA by almost, uh, ang, exp ang prediction namin is by between 20 to 30 percent ang magiging improvement po sa EDSA in this, by the second half of this year. Sir, so the entire EDSA decongestion program, do we expect that to be delivered within the Duterte administration? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, that was the intention. And in fact, for the past few years, uh, uh, the president has personally been active in the uh, the right of way, 
of these uh, flagship projects and uh, nag-assign kami ng mga uh, na mga teams para tutukan itong mga EDSA decongestion projects. And you can see, at this point, we've been able, as early as last year, na-deliver na po yung right-of-way ng Skyway. Uh, yung connector, malapit na po. At na yung Harbor Link, na-deliver na rin po yung right-of-way of the Harbor Link. So, we are confident that by the end of the term of the President, uh, EDSA will be uh, back to its original capacity. Uh, so, sir, if ever yung... When the entire decongestion program is finished, so could you give us a, a sense of what will happen in EDSA? You said that you will be able to restore EDSA to its yes. former capacity. What does uh, that mean, sir? The capacity of EDSA is approximately 288,000 cars per day. Based on our projections, uh, at currently, uh, the usage of EDSA is 400,000 per day. Uh, based on our projections, uh, we will be able to relieve at least 120,000, bring it back to its original capacity uh, at least. Pero sa tingin ko, hindi lang 120,000. Kung pag natapos na po yung mga projects ng EDSA decongestion, mahigit pa sa 100,000 ang uh, mawawala sa EDSA. So last na lang, uh, si President kasi he promised yung Makati to Cubao na five minutes. When will that be possible, sir? Very soon. Uh, actually, yung binanggit ko po kanina, pag natapos yung Skyway, we're Makati to Balintawak, uh, imagine, SLEX to NLEX, 15 minutes. Eh, kung 15 minutes lang yan, hindi eh, Makati to Quezon City, ang lapit lang, baka 5 minutes lang talaga. So, can we expect that, sir, within the year? Yes. Thank you, sir. Joseph? Sir, yung pong uh, volume reduction, that's assuming there will be no new cars, right? Well, uh, so, that's why hindi lang 120 ang target namin. We expect that makakaroon talaga ng uh, additional vehicles sa EDSA. But of course, you increase will be offset. That's why may allowance din kami. Hindi naman eksakto 120,000 ang target namin. Mahigit pa sa 120,000 ang target namin para may konting allowance. But at the same time, uh, yung long-term solution po sa traffic natin is mass transit in which Secretary Artugade is... Uh, uh, advanced stages of his uh, master plan also. Yung, makat, yung, yung subway po, magsisimula na po this year. Yung LRT7 is already advanced stage of construction, more than 60%. Uh, I think there's uh, yung, yung uh, Clark, yung railway, na-extend na po yung railway. Nakabili na sila ng bagong uh, uh, train uh, yung mga cabs. Nakabili na sila. And they've extended the PNR. So, uh, this is done in conjunction with the improvement of the road network. So road network pa lang, luluwag ng EDSA. Dagdagan mo pa itong mga trend, and we can see that uh, the long-term situation will improve because of the master plan of our president. All right, you want to start? MPC questions? Ariane? Hi, sir. Um, sir, tanong ko lang po. Yung last year po kasi na-delay yung passage ng budget, pero this year naman po, hindi. Meron po bang projects under the EDSA decongestion program na naapektuhan? Uh, or well, on track po lahat ng spending natin? On track naman, kasi hindi naman lahat ay gaa. Meron din mga PPPs. And kami naman na uh, nagde-deliver ng right-of-way. At syempre, uh, may partnership kami sa mga sa private sector. So tuloy-tuloy naman po ang... Uh, ang delivery ng ating mga projects. Uh, nagkaroon ng challenge, syempre, sa, dahil sa late passage ng budget. But uh, makikita nyo naman po sa performance, uh, nakapag-implement uh, din ng DPWH ng 696 billion worth of projects, which is uh, uh, the highest ever by far. In the, and the year before that, we implemented 590. So despite the headwinds, despite uh, the late budget, despite the election, uh, we were, this administration was able to still deliver on the build, build, build. And that will, the numbers will show that. 696 billion of projects implemented. Okay. So, sir, wala na, may backlogs pa po ba tayong hinahabol Ay, because hindi, of that? Eh, Siyempre, hindi naman 100%. Uh, okay. Meron pa rin kaming uh, kailangan gawin. Hindi pa naman tapos ang trabaho. Yung tra tra traffic decongestion, uh, sinabi ko po kanina na every year makakaroon po ng improvement. So, this year, Ang i-deliver po namin, itong yung Harbor Link extension, yung Skyway. Next year, i-deliver po namin yung mga bridges across Pasig, yung first three bridges, pati C6. And next 2021, i-deliver namin yung connector road. 
uh, pag pinagsama-sama po lahat po ng decongestion projects, uh, we can expect that uh, before the end, the, de the President would deliver on his commitment to decongest it's a definitely. Uh, at this point, what was thought Nung dati, akala natin imposible. Ngayon, inevitable na yung decongestion ng EDSA. And I can say at this point, the halfway point, the decongestion of EDSA is inevitable. And sir, um, yung full EDSA decongestion program, um, will that be uh, fully realized by 2022? Or and, or by next year po, ilan na po yung progress? Well, kami naman po, uh, hindi, naman, hindi naman dapat i-hard stop lahat ng projects sa 2022. Siyempre, meron din kaming mga master plans. In fact, uh, nung pumasok kami, wala masyadong feasibility study, kaya gumawa muna kami ng mga feasibility study. So, it and, and it takes one or two years. So, uh, napaka, ang ginawa namin nga, gumawa na kami ng pipeline worth almost uh, 1.8 trillion pesos. Nung pumasok kami, 50 billion ang pipeline. Ngayon, 1.8 trillion pesos. So, uh, ito po yung magiging basis ng long-term growth ng Philippines. So, kung sino man ang susunod na presidente, meron na siyang pipeline of high-quality, high-yield projects na immediately implementable. Sir, last na lang. But by 2022, babalik po sa original capacity na 288,000? Uh, that's our prediction. Uh, based on our numbers now, at least we'll bring it back to the original capacity. Okay, sir. Thank you. Salarina. Microphone, please. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, you have mentioned kanina yung regarding sa five minutes na travel time. So are you saying na um, yung five minutes ay um, going to Makati is using the Skyway and not uh, EDSA? Well, uh, point to point ang pinag-usapan natin, di ba? Makati to Quezon City. So if you're asking me kung kaya yan, yes, kaya. Five minutes from EDSA, from Makati to Quezon City. Pero sir, yung promise ni President na Cubao to Makati kasi eh, we're uh, thinking... Niya. Quezon City is Cubao. Uh, Cubao yeah, but we're thinking na it's using EDSA. So this time... Hindi naman niya sinabi na through EDSA. I don't think the, pre okay. the President just said, Makati to Cubao, five minutes. Siyempre, so the, kasi ang perception before, ang presumption was using EDSA. So this time, it's through Skyway talaga. Yun yung clarification. Uh, well... Luluwag. Pag natapos na yung Skyway, luluwag din ng EDSA. So, it, it's possible also. Ang so, yung ko, five minutes ang, ay... Ang importante lang, let's not, eh, wag na tayo mag-focus sa mga malit na detalye. Ang importante lang, sa term ni President, madidikongest natin ng EDSA. At yung five minutes from Cubao to Makati, posible po. But sir, yung, yung EDSA kasi, that's a major thoroughfare. Yes. Tapos, uh, kung sa sky, Skyway, we're expecting na there will be toll fee. Yes. So... Siyempre, mas preferred ng tao yung walang toll fee. So, kaya yung five minutes na pinag-uusapan, so, hindi siya EDSA, Skyway na siya? Uh, pwede rin EDSA, pwede rin Skyway. Kasi remember, hindi naman lahat ng, may mga tao na willing magbayad, di ba? Meron naman, uh, siyempre, may konting toll, but at the same time, pag na, pag may 100, pag nagkaroon ng 100,000 a day sa Skyway, luluwag din ng EDSA. So, Maaari po. Magiging, uh, eh, syempre, hindi ko naman ma-predict exactly kung ano mangyayari. But ang point, importante lang, yung, yung five minutes, eh kung yung 15 minutes from Makati to Quezon to NLEX, uh, kaya. Eh definitely, yung five minutes, kayang-kaya din yan. So regarding the toll fee, so although hindi kayo are, I think part kayo ng, if ever na magde-decide kung magkano yung toll fee, uh, how much yung in-expect natin dito sa bagong Skyway? Uh, hindi pa naman finalized yung toll fee, but more or less, uh, as a guide, we can expect more or less about 4 to 5 pesos per kilometer ang magiging toll fee. Ara, more or less. Okay, thank you. Okay, Francis? Uh, sec, good afternoon. Follow-up lang dun sa tanong about sa EDSA. Kasi uh, every month, dumadami po ang bumibili ng kotse. I mean, nadadagdagan ang mga ang kotse sa kalsada. Meron bang uh, tie-up ang DPWH or may naipag-usap na ba kayo sa LTO okay. or other agencies para para ma-lessen yung ano kasi mumibili nga eh through kaya, banks. Kaya kasi sabi ko, ang, ang importante po, yung long-term solution po ng ating traffic is yung mass transit. Uh, of course, hindi naman under sa department ko po yung uh, trains, pero gusto ko rin banggitin na uh, advanced na rin yung implementation and planning ng ating mga train network. Meron na pong yung subway, which is uh, the flagship of the press. At this point, natapos na po ni Sec Art Tugade yung uh, feasibility study, detailed engineering design, and this year, may implement na po yung subway. Uh, napakalaking bagay yung, yung subway. Walang comparison po yung road 
sa train in terms of capacity per square meter. Uh, malayo po. Kaya sinasabi ko po ngayon, may plano kami sa road network para lumuwag, para madecongest ang EDSA. Pero meron din kaming long-term plan for the, which is the railway, yung subway, yung PNR, yung LRT, yung MRT. And makikita nyo po, sabay-sabay po yung construction. And uh, this is with the purpose that by the end of the term of the president, matatapos po lahat. Tatapusin talaga namin ang traffic sa term ni president. Sir, clarification lang. So yung five minutes na you said that's possible within the event, uh, kaysa si Tumakati, saan yung daan yan? Uh, depende. <laughs> depende. We'll find a way. Eh, sa Skyway pa lang. Kasi the Skyway, may exit siya sa Aurora, may exit sa Quezon Ave, mm -hmm. may exit sa Buendia, may exit. So maraming exit. So siguro, pag, malapit, pag natapos na yung Skyway, uh, pwede natin i-waste. And then, tingnan natin kung ano yung best. Uh, I cannot predict the exact traffic flow, but I'm just saying, more or less, if we can, I, I think it's safe to assume that kung kaya natin yung Balintawak, NSLEX to NLEX, in 15 minutes, kaya din natin yung Makati to Quezon City, which is Cubao, in 5 minutes. More or less. <laughs> I okay, mean, thank you.